Okay, I think we are about ready to get rolling with Flash. So go ahead and launch Flash CS6. And what I'd like to do right off the bat here is I want to get us comfortable inside the Flash environment. So I want to talk about the variety of elements that we find inside the, the Flash interface. And I want to talk about working with movies and zooming and navigating and all that great stuff. And I'm going to start things off here with a discussion on Flash's welcome screen. Now that's this screen here that appears right when we launch Flash, okay? Now, give me a moment. What I'm gonna do is see this timeline tab down here towards the bottom left? I'm actually gonna double click on that and that collapses down that timeline panel. We'll talk about the timeline panel in just a little while. The reason why I double clicked on that timeline tab is because he was covering up the bottom portion of the welcome screen. I wanna be able to see this whole thing here for you. Okay, so here we go, the welcome screen. What do we have inside the welcome screen? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, but let me show you what's going on here. Obviously, you can see here we're broken into three main columns here. So what I can do from this first left-hand column is I can create a new Flash project or a new Flash movie based off of a pre-existing template, maybe some Flash advertising or perhaps something that I'm going to put eventually on the Android platform that uses Adobe Air, for instance, or Media Playback or something like this, right? I could click on more and I could go and find more Flash templates if I wanted to. And then below that, I could go ahead and open a file, or once we start creating our own files and saving them, they'll become listed underneath this Open a Recent Item heading right down here again towards the bottom left. Okay, so there you go. Now the center column allows us to go and create a brand new blank flash file so we could go with action script 3 or action script 2 or we could go with air or air for android or air for ios and so on and so on or over inside the right hand column what i could do is i could click on any of these items here that appear underneath the learn heading and what that will do is that will take me over to adobe.com and it actually takes us directly into sort of an article that we could actually read up on the various aspects, the various elements that they're listing out here inside this learn column. Of course, we're going to be talking about a lot of this stuff during this training session anyway. So that's the deal there. Now, down towards the bottom, we have getting started. We have new features. Again, you can click on these links if you wish, and you can go and read up on those specific items if you're interested in that. I have to be honest, though, and this is really a personal thing. I don't like the welcome screen. I find it kind of gets in my way as I'm trying to work inside Flash. So usually what I wind up doing is I usually wind up marking off this little don't show again option here. And almost in desperation, Flash says, hey, wait a minute. If you ever want to get the Flash welcome screen back, here's how to do it. You have to actually go and dig into Flash's preferences to go and turn the welcome screen back on. So I'm going to turn mine off and then I'll go ahead and click on OK. And then the next time I launch Flash, I would not get the welcome screen. So there you go. That's kind of a quick five cent tour of the welcome screen here inside Flash Professional CS6.